Hello everybody, today I'm cooking chicken enchiladas and cheese enchiladas. I'm going to start with the ingredients right here. Right here I have two chicken breasts and I boiled this with garlic and onion and one teaspoon of salt. Right here I have the other half of this of the onion and right here I have one garlic and one teaspoon of salt. Two tablespoons of the enchilada sauce, that is this one. Uh, but you can use any brand and you can find it in any store. And I have my olive oil right here that I'm going to be using. And I have over here two, two cups of ch and chihuahua cheese and a little bit of onion in there for flavor. Right here I have my chile guajillo, which I put 10 and I put one of pasillas so it can get a little dark, the sauce. I have one teaspoon of salt right here and one garlic and one little piece of chocolate and i have two clavos i don't know how to say it in english but i got two clavos right here and i have my uh, milagro tortillas right here you can use any brand of tortillas and i have my vegetable oil for frying the tortillas okay so i'm gonna start by uh cooking the the chicken and then i make the sauce for for the enchiladas Okay, I have my pan over here, so I start by putting my olive oil over here. So I'm going to put like um, three tablespoons right there. So let it get warm for a while. Okay, it looks like it's already hot. So I'm gonna put the chicken right here. And let it cook like for five minutes and then we're gonna put the garlic and the onion in the sauce okay after five minutes mm, cooking I'm gonna put the onion and I'm gonna put the garlic and the teaspoon of salt right there So I'm going to let it cook. Okay, now I'm going to make the sauce. Over here I have a, a half a cup of caldo de pollo. But if you didn't save the caldo de pollo, you can just use hot water. So it's a half a cup. And I'm going to put the two tablespoons of enchilada sauce, the powder, and mix it like this. And this, we're going to put it in the chicken right now, okay? Okay, the chicken is ready for the sauce. So we try to mix the whole thing over here. I think it needs a little more, so I'm going to put in over two tablespoons, which I think is going to be the whole package. Okay, so I end up using the whole package, so it can look more with color. More color right here. Okay, and it looks like this when it's done. I end up using the whole package for the two chicken breasts. It depends how much chicken we're making, you know. So it looks like this. So I'm going to start making the sauce for the tortillas. Okay, so in the blender, we're going to be putting our chiles colorados right here. Everything in here in the blender. 
and I'm going to put the salt and I'm going to put the chocolate and the cloves right there and the garlic you didn't remove the skin so I'm going to do it right now right there and we're going to be making the sauce okay so this is what I got I got the chili sauce and uh, I put two cups of water right here that way I can put it in the blender and blender now I'm going to be draining it I'm going to drain all the sauce right here right there so we just get the juice so I can start cook, cooking the sauce Okay, so I have the pan right here, and I'm going to put two, ta two tablespoons of um, oil, and then we're going to start putting the sauce in there. Okay, so I'm going to put all the sauce right here. And we're going to let it cook, okay? So I'm going to let it cook until it boil, and uh, I have the, the heat and medium, as you can see. It's cooking right here. After you see that it start to boil, uh, leave it probably for another uh, five minutes, and then it's already done. And we can start making our enchiladas. So I already turned it off because it's already done. So I'm going to start with the enchiladas. Okay, so now I'm going to start by frying my tortillas. And I put the heat in medium. So I'm going to put the vegetable oil right here. There you go. So we're going to let it get real hot so we can start frying the tortillas, okay? Okay, now we're going to be testing the oil and see if it's ready. I always use one tortilla. Looks like it's ready. And I always do a couple first. And then I start um, putting the, the filling inside. There goes the first one. And I do it like this so it doesn't retain a lot of oil because if you put it in the sauce first and then put it in the oil, it retains a lot of oil. And, um, and I don't like them like that. So that's why I do this first and then I put them in the sauce. And put the filling inside. So I'm gonna do a couple and then I start putting the filling in. Okay, so now I'm gonna start by um, putting the filling on my enchiladas. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a fried tortilla and I dip it in the sauce, as you can see. And put the filling over here. This is the chicken that we're doing right now. And we fold it like a little taco. There you go, there's the one. I'm going to do the second one. Dip it in the sauce, put it on the plate, and put the chicken right there. And roll it like a taco. Oops. Right there. Another one. And roll 
Now I'm going to make some more cheese. So it's going to be the same thing. For the enchiladas, you can use any, any filling you want, any kind of uh, meat. And I roll it like a taco right there. The second one. If you don't like onion, you don't have to put onion in it. There you go. I finish one layer, as you can see. Now I'm gonna put cheese on top and start the next layer. Like this, as you can see. Now I'm gonna start the next layer and putting it on top. like this if you don't want to put any on top of the other ones you can always use only one plate but uh, i'm gonna do this so i can finish this as you can see i'm already done um they already start eating this ones uh, so i end up getting eight of cheese and i end up with uh, 23 of chicken over here and this is um, what was left of the sauce. You can still get a couple more from here. And I'm going to combine them with rice. And I'm going to show you the rice I'm making. So this is my rice. And I only put uh, one little envelope of uh, Sazon Goya so it can be yellow. I put two cans of corn and one cup of rice. Uh, a little onion and garlic and one teaspoon of salt and two, ta uh, two tablespoons of uh, butter. So I'm gonna wait until it's done and I'm gonna serve it together with the enchiladas. Okay, and this is the way I will combine it uh, with rice on the side and small salad. And this is how it's gonna look like. And I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching it.